Hello, dear friends. This is Tracy Brown, and my team and I of non-diet dietitians provide trauma-informed care so you can feel safer in your own skin. And I just wanted to give everybody, because I know I've been talking about this for a couple weeks now around um, transitions and all that, and it was just on my heart to kind of do an encouragement video to remind you that usually um, things are hardest when we don't have a lot of experience with doing something new and feeling either better or at least less bad. And we still have a lot of maybe the scary or the, the shamey or the, or the negative thoughts that we've had maybe for decades. So let me, let me be clear for you or, or give you an example. Let's say that you're newer in this journey and you're just now coming around to the clarity of, wow, I've been listening to pretty negative thoughts about myself that I have thought were true my whole life for about 10 years, 50 years. I'm not that I have this expectation of myself to somehow, now that I know something different or something better, that I, there's a part of me that feels like it should automatically be different. And what have I really accomplished here? And what's wrong with me? And what's taken so long? And I'm so disappointed in myself. And that could be as simple as like, darn it, I binged last night. And everything in me wants to like restrict today. And I don't really want to do that. But I feel like I have to and I'm berating myself for binging yesterday. And I feel like the fix it, I have to restrict again. Um, and I know it takes a lot of intentionality to not abandon yourself. And what I mean by abandoning yourself is when, when things feel bad, when things feel hard, when you feel disappointed, to not try to fix it the, the old way. You know, we want to try to fix maybe something that didn't go right, kind of from the same mentality or mindset, which is restriction and, and judgment and um, um, see here we go again kind of mentality versus gosh, like what happened last night? What need didn't get met? Uh, what do I need more of? Or, oh man, that's really disappointing that I know I need X, Y, Z, but I don't have it yet. I listened to that X, Y, Z negative thought <clears throat> and I don't really want to, but I did. Um, what can I do today? Basically, what can I do today to still keep reminding myself that every day that I'm not like full on feeling like my needs don't matter, you know, um, any day that I'm being really intentional about what, what do I like? What do I need? Um, even though this is really hard, it doesn't, it, it's, even though it's hard, that still, it still doesn't, it still means that I'm, I'm, I'm worth fighting for, even if the external circumstances don't match that belief, that's okay. And so again, this video is just about encouraging that regardless of what happened last meal yesterday, taking a minute to reassess what was too much, what wasn't enough, and um, you know, maybe getting really clear where I'm still listening to um, some negative thinking about myself that may not be true, but it felt like it was true given my circumstances 20 years ago. Um, and again, one quick example is it's really normal when we're little, when we're not treated well or unfairly or um, just not appropriately. We do tend to personalize it. Like that wouldn't have happened to me if I had been thinner. So the reason I'm treated badly is because I'm thin. No, I mean, that makes sense when you're 10 to think that way, but truth, what is the truth? The truth is no, I'm really sorry that you were projected on and that your food, your body, you are made the scapegoat for other people's projections or dis, uh, you know, discomfort or not knowing how to help you or you being in this yucky situation. That's not you lacking value and worth. That's you being in a difficult situation. It's you, you didn't cause that. And, and, and we know that as an adult and we have to un, unblend from that. So you might get caught up in some of that maybe old way of seeing yourself at some point in your day with your food. But again, this video is an encouragement. No matter, no matter what happened yesterday with your food, restriction, binging, whatever, right now is a moment that you can bring some more compassion, some more curiosity, 
some more, how many times a day can I capture my negative thoughts and speak back some truth to that? You, that could start right now, right this second. So thank you for watching. I apologize for the interruptions in the feed, but I'm glad you could hang in there with me. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.